Hi, here are six vegetables that are bad for your kidneys. Welcome to the channel, guys. Here, we discuss important subjects to keep you informed and to make sure that your health comes first. We're talking about something really important in today's eye-opening video. The health of your kidneys. After conducting extensive research, we are going to reveal the six unsuspecting veggies that may be seriously harming your kidneys. Together, let's jump right in and take charge of our well-being. Let's start with the first food, potatoes. Known for their adaptability in the kitchen, they are an excellent source of potassium, a crucial mineral required for many bodily physiological processes. Sweet potatoes stand out among the other varieties because of their exceptionally high potassium content. Potassium is essential for sustaining healthy muscle and cardiac function, as well as supporting electrolyte and fluid balance. Although potassium has several nutritional advantages, people with specific medical disorders, such as kidney difficulties, may need to control their intake. Under such circumstances, modifying the cooking techniques becomes crucial and boiling potatoes is frequently recommended. It has been discovered that boiling extracts some of the potassium from the potatoes, which may provide a means of lowering the total amount of potassium in the final dish. Therefore, in the larger context of dietary planning, selecting the right cooking method is essential to maximizing the nutritional profile of potato-based recipes. With this knowledge, people are more prepared to make informed decisions about how to prepare food, which encourages a balanced and health-conscious approach to including potatoes in diets. Let's discuss the second food, tomatoes. Praised for their vivid taste and many culinary uses, they are not only a well-liked ingredient, but also a noteworthy source of important nutrients. Potassium is one of these minerals that stands out since it is essential for sustaining healthy neuron activity, muscular contractions, and bodily fluid balance. Because of their high potassium content, tomatoes and tomato-based products, such tomato sauce, are a great addition to a diet that is well-balanced. It's interesting to note that heating might increase tomatoes' potassium content even further. The water content of tomatoes decreases during cooking, concentrating the nutrients, including potassium, that are still present. This phenomenon emphasizes how adding cooked tomatoes or tomato-based sauces may be beneficial for people who want to increase their intake of potassium. For people with particular dietary needs, including those trying to control their potassium levels, the higher potassium content in cooked tomatoes gives a nutritious boost to a variety of foods, from sauces to soups and stews. It becomes essential to comprehend how cooking techniques affect nutrient content. Spinach is ranked number three on our list. A leafy green with several health benefits that is praised for its nutritional value. Spinach is a superfood that is full of important vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. One important mineral that spinach contains in particular is potassium, which is necessary for many bodily processes, including nerve and muscle function. Although potassium is a necessary nutrient, people with kidney problems should be careful when eating spinach. The body's potassium balance is maintained by the kidneys, which is why this is the case. Excessive potassium consumption can cause a buildup in the circulation in people with impaired kidney function, which could be dangerous. Because spinach contains a lot of potassium, those who have kidney problems are usually recommended to limit their spinach intake. This does not necessarily imply giving up spinach completely. Rather, it suggests limiting portion sizes and consuming a range of low-potassium substitutes. This brings us to our fourth food, beets. Renowned for their vivid hue and rustic taste, they are a wholesome vegetable that provides several health advantages. Of all the minerals, potassium is one that beets have in particularly large amounts. Potassium is a mineral that is vital for heart and muscle health, as well as supporting the health of cells in general. Moderate beet eating is advised for people with kidney problems in order to assist control potassium intake. They can still benefit from the nutrients found in beets while lowering their chance of experiencing excessive potassium levels, thanks to this moderation technique. A varied assortment of low-potassium meals can also be included in the diet to supply necessary nutrients without overdoing the kidneys with potassium. 
This customized approach to food choices highlights the significance of personalized nutrition, accounting for particular medical problems to support general health. The fifth vegetable is winter squash. This vegetable includes types like butternut and acorn squash and is distinguished as a nutrient-dense choice with high potassium content. They differ from summer squash in that they are harvested and eaten in the mature stage, when their seeds within have matured fully, and their skin has hardened into a tough rind. These veggies offer vital minerals and fiber that support a balanced and healthful diet. That being said, people who have kidney issues need to watch how much they eat. While potassium is an essential mineral for many body processes, renal disease sufferers may experience negative effects from high potassium levels. Thus, it becomes imperative to consume winter squash in moderation in order to balance its nutritious advantages with the possibility for difficulties. This highlights the need of customized eating plans, particularly for those with particular health issues, as they strive to develop a diet that supports general health while attending to their particular medical requirements. Next up comes the number six vegetable, Swiss chard. Chard or Swiss chard is a green leafy vegetable. Renowned for its profusion of vitamins and minerals, it provides a nutrient-rich complement to a diet that is well-balanced. This leafy green's high potassium concentration makes it especially appetizable. Although potassium is a necessary mineral that supports many body processes, people who have kidney problems may need to take extra care and limit their intake of Swiss chard. The kidneys are essential for preserving the body's potassium balance and problems with kidney function can raise blood potassium levels and put health at danger. Because of this, it's crucial for those with renal issues to consume Swiss chard in moderation in order to combine getting the vegetable's nutritional benefits with keeping potassium levels within a healthy range. This emphasizes how crucial it is to adjust diet to meet specific health needs, particularly when dealing with illnesses that call for careful consideration of nutrient consumption. In conclusion, it's critical to maintain knowledge about the foods we eat, particularly in relation to kidney health. Vegetables are typically quite healthy for us, but some may contain higher amounts of potassium than others, which could be problematic for those who have kidney problems. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and found it useful. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Bye.